guys, I've just crawled out of the bed and here is today's view from our balcony. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Um, the weather is pretty good and I hope it will stay like that today. Um, but you never know here, I mean, you can have a completely cloudless day and a snowstorm all in one day. So yeah, let's hope it stays that way. And now I'll just go get ready, I'll have some breakfast, I'll pop in my contacts, put on some sunscreen and then hopefully hit the slopes. It's 7 p.m. right now and we're obviously done skiing for today. Um, I think we came home at 2 p.m. and then we had some lunch. My parents decided to go into the town center. And Me and my sister decided to stay at home because we're really lazy and sleepy and um, we're probably going to watch a movie. And also I have decided to show you the things I bought yesterday at Albertville and I'll first start with makeup products. The first two products are from Rimmel and I was really excited when I saw that they sell Rimmel here because we don't have this company in my country. And the first product is the Scandalize Mascara in Extreme Black. I've heard people talk about this mascara, but I'm not sure if it's one of the good ones or one of the bad ones. Um, but I guess we'll see. And the second item is the Scandalize um, Eyeliner in Black. I already have this eyeliner in Nude and I'm really impressed with it, so um, I decided to pick up a black one as well because my current black eyeliner is um, not really waterproof and these have um, great staying power so I hope it will be better than my current one. And then the next product I picked up is from Maybelline. It's called the Dream Lumi Touch Corrector or Concealer 
and I've heard Ingrid from Miss Glamorati talk about this product so um, I decided to give it a try although I'm not sure if this concealer will be strong enough for my dark under eye circles but I guess we'll see and then I picked up two lip products the first one is from Bourjois and it's called the Color Boost Lipstick with Glossy Finish looks like this and it, this one is in the color Peach on the Beach um, I really like those kind of lip products, these chubby sticks um, so I hope this one will be good and then the next lip product is from L'Oreal it's from their Caress collection um, and this is how it looks like, it's in the color Romy um, I have heard people comparing these products um, to the Yves Saint Laurent lip lacquers and um, I don't, I don't know, I mean many people praise these but I have already tried this one as you see it's out of the packaging and I can't say that I'm impressed I mean it's just it looks like nothing on my lips um, so yeah I'm not sure what to think about this maybe I just got the wrong color or something I don't know um, but I'll give a full review of this on my blog so if you're interested in all the details, um, I'll have it up probably in a week's time. Moving on to some French skincare, I picked up <clears throat> the also famous Bioderma makeup remover or solution or however is this thing called. Um, I just bought one of these a few weeks ago, but um, they are really cheap here. I got two products for the price of one so I decided to stock, stock up um, and yeah I got these two they're both the 500 milliliter ones and then I got two um, face creams because I have really dry skin and I still haven't found a face cream that would you know help me with my dry flakes on my cheeks um, so I picked up two the first one is from La Roche-Posay and it's called the Nutric Intense Rich Cream. The second one is from Avene, um, but <laughs> I'm just going to show it to you because um, um, all the names here are in French so I'm not even going to try to read it because I don't speak French and it would probably turn out really bad, uh, but yeah, here is how it looks like. So this is it for today's vlog, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you tomorrow, bye!